Things should be much easier with Eleanor. Shouldn't have any problems beating every stage with every character and vampire survivors with her. Even if Gallo Tower is a bit spicier than Inlaid Library, it still should not be much of a difficult. Already re rolling. Do have nothing in the way of options here, so just get the beginning. Shoot out everything I can. Oh, this is so much better than Gavadoni already. Oh, he started me with Empty Tome. Brilliant. Okay, spinach, get that damage up. Oh, it didn't trigger a trap. One more projectile, so it does get benefits from out. Can't break light sources with this, though. Huh. Oh, that's what leveling up is for. Fire, even faster. Fire, and destroy everything. I miss destroying everything. Wait. Okay, yeah, I did turn Curse and Charm back on. You can tell, because it's at 59 there. Okay. In Labrador, make it bigger. Bracer and Spellbinder on the map, and neither of those are that helpful. They actually do affect it, but not very much. Alright, now I just need Tornus Box and Crown, and I'm free to grab everything I need. Meow, meow, meow. Why are not so many of these spell strings? They can barely get close. Oh, it's nice actually being able to do things again. One more projectile and more base damage. And what's that? Another weapon! Oh boy! That won't last long. Spell stream is a go. Cool down. Cool your jets. Alrighty, and max it out. Empty tome. Maxed out for the five minute mark. For the four minute mark, even. Pretty dang good. Do have to get pretty close to get to the gems. It's not good at clearing out crowds that much, but still. So much better than the bullet blue. It's always a whiplash when you go from a character that's super weak to one that's pretty dang strong. But who knows, maybe I'll end up having a ton of trouble. Skeletons, what? Regular skeletons, I mean. Alright. Spell stringing. They have no idea how much stringing these spells are going to do. Wow, still don't have crown. Duplicator, empty tome, and... Coronas box before Crown popped up. Make it bigger. Make it better. Wait, where'd it go? Absolutely popped up one of them. And it lasts longer, so Spellbinder does work for it. There's my Crown. Oh, it's down there for some reason. Starburst. Damage further multiplied by might, like every weapon. Not gonna be quite as silly and ridiculous as it got with rain, I'm doing it off, but still. Spell Strike is pretty dang good. And it's usually just so hard to see because you're not gonna grab it raw. Alright, let's max that out so I can go a good one. Could even charge through that wave with no problems. 
I'll max it out so that way I can evolve it ASAP. Now I never really saw what the spell stream looked like. But it's that nice sparkly thing going around. It doesn't have much in the way of overall duration though. Even with Spellbinder, Silver Ring, and well, if Tyrone's box maxed out, it probably won't last that long. But still, you'll get benefits out of it. Ground may be more efficient, but I want the safety. I'm gun shy after all the sheer trouble that Gavit only did. Granted, hitting for four digits, you know, that's pretty. Well, not something I'm doing, but three digits. Mid three digits. That's a nice comeback after mid two digits. Oh boy. I didn't even think Gavit Oni was that bad, but you learn something new every day with Leswick. Why am I going back? I don't need Bracer. Oh, Bubble Storm. No, oh, get Tronus box out of the way first. Can we badge? Can wait. Now I just need to level up one more time. There we go. Banish you to the abyss, and then with this I will get can we badge up? No, oh. I need to. Russia. Okay. Only two levels. Not so bad. Bit of a waste of inefficiency. And if I grabbed Bracer, it would have been fine. So I surely should have gone down and already grabbed Bracer. But nope, I got Silver Ring. That'll tie me over until I grab a Taglio and then book back for Bracer and maybe I'll actually get down to Spellbind for like the fifth time. Third time. It's only going to get stronger. She's only going to get stronger. Man, I had difficulty with her on wave one, didn't I? What caused that? Is this poor play? Well, obviously. You know, everything always says you should like act like you're the most blah 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 confident, blah blah blah. I do everything. That's not me. And frankly, I don't like lying about that kind of thing. Wait, oh, it was an evolution chest. Okay, what's with the sparklies doing this? Okay, I need to change. Why is it not working correctly? Wait, that was awake right there, oh well. Well, what other benefit do I even get? Guess I could go boogaloo. Okay, something's going on with the settings. I don't know what, but I turned some off. Nope, that's not working. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what's causing that. I've never seen that before. It didn't occur on the first wave either, right? Nope. Grab that. Yes, I can. I should, and I did. Yeah, there's the bracer. Doesn't really do much. It does increase the swing speed of the storm. That's not really that critical. What is causing these issues? I've never seen this before. It's very odd. Like, obviously, switching off the settings just didn't work. You just saw that. 
Oh good, I am recording. Oh, I'm... Despite my paranoia, I still didn't miss that the audio wasn't caught for the Gavit only thing yesterday. Ridiculous. I don't need that chest. Man, am I hitting for five digits? When the Tempest goes off? It's really hard to tell because the visual is so messed up. What caused this? I'm not even sure what could have caused this. Yep, that was five digit. The only thing you get sillier from here on. Okay, next is Capella Magna, which means Crown and Duplicator on a map. Ooh. I guess I could get Spellbinder instead. It does slightly help. And then what else? Bracer doesn't really help. Nothing really helps. Hmm. Yeah, I was just gonna grab some. Maybe armor. No. Yeah, it's 2700 right there. Not the worst, not the best. So yet still wouldn't be able to get through Dairy Plant. I have no idea what the heck happens there at the end. If Mina can't do it, how did anyone else bother? Even remotely get close. Yeah, that's the kind of numbers that even Queen Sigma would be wary of. Where are you at? There you are, Atlantean. Wow. Probably could go for Curse, huh? I don't know. Honestly, if I get it, didn't have Gavin only driving me to... Well, not Drake, but close to it. Then yeah, I probably would have gone for the Curse, because this is... Probably gonna just chew through everything with no difficulty. But I am very tired. That's what no sleep gets you. On the other hand, considering the Atlantean fell that fast, I'm clearly not in any danger. Alright, maybe this will be the fi time I can finally get down to Leda. Leda, Lena, Lada, Luna, Luba, Alexatora. Eleonora Struzin. I think it's Struzin anyway. And once again, I've run out of gameplay to talk about 19 minutes in. Or in the same range. If he hoppity, Easter is on its way. Eh, I really want to have a nice big backlog for Ayudin. But we have it only had different priorities. There's nothing but suffering there. Oh, here I am, talking about a character that's terrible when I have one that is not on screen. Go figure. Pew pew, watch them lasers go. Hmm. I could try going out with pure spell string. Or maybe just all three without it. On the other hand, it's... I really don't want to. I just don't want to have any troubles whatsoever on a run right now. So, gonna get this in Capella Magna. She's gonna annihilate everything. It'll be nice and easy breezy. Possibly lemon squeezy. Oh, I guess garlic squeezy would be more apt. Wow, oh, why did that not give me more? It's re-rolling time. Time to re-roll. Not gonna lose, but I still want to wake anyway, just in case. Six revives with wake. That's a lot of defense I'm gonna get out of it. Let's see, Eleanor... Oh, TRG Sue. That was funny. 
Now I'm going to have eight revives. And a chest, so I don't even have to waste the level on a limit break there. Oh, oh no, there's still a background. Huh, isn't that, isn't that the same background for Tiny Bridge? Oh, I can still see the map. It's clearly not deep down enough for finding later. I don't know how deep it goes. It's not exactly like I go after her. Well, actually, I do go and try to find her every time. I just can't get through of it. So I've been running a lot of characters that aren't all that strong through here. Oh, I know. Perfect name for when I run Gal on Gallo Tower. Gallo on Gallo's Tower. Wonderful. Man, I've been trying to make more exciting video names, but maybe I just plain old descriptors would work better. Eleanor, Gallo Tower, Capella Magna. Oh, brown or high. You're not going to last long. Also, I swore that these ones are here, are the Manticore. It's possible I got it confused with the Chimera. They're usually too intermittently changed instead of being what they're situated for directly. I can't remember. I Oh, crab battle. Oh. Well, it goes after Drowner. Huh? Where are the enemies at? Well, I'm still destroying them, so they're clearly must be off screen. What are you doing, Drowner? How are you still alone? Ooh, wow. Ah. Perfect timing. Huh. Why is that there? Like that? Some sort of statue. It's a gargoyle. What do you have? Why would you have it a gargoyle indoors? Hmm. Oh, oh well. Uh, what's down here? Are you there yet, later? Oh, boss manticore. Which may be a chimera. I need to go. Well, if I wasn't trying to go down to find late, I'd just go check right now which one is which. Is that another boss one? Huh, weird. Maybe that was a random event, double spawning like with the Atlanteans. Man, I knew she was strong. How did I have any difficulty whatsoever with her? I mean, I swear, on the first wave I had some surprising trouble. Maybe it was because I was on Whiteout. Whiteout gives a lot of trouble for no good reason. Oh, what am I looking for? I have the Pezwick checker right there to my left. All nice in that color. Oh, still not dark enough for Leda to be up. Man, I actually ran out of time again. Oh, let's see how far I can go. Oh, Drowner. Well, now I'm never going to be able to see her if she does show up. If she hasn't shown up already, in fact. Oh, well. That is Eleanor Uzeron done on her first run. 284 million with Spellstorm, and it feels like three times that. Thanks for watching. Get ready for round two. Somehow I lost. Bad luck contributed to some of it, just couldn't get the passes I need. Which is never a good sign. So let's fix that. Oh, reroll. Up front power. Get we get. 
Oh, that's a terrible start. Less so. Do, 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 do. Shoot them bats. Slowly get pushed south. Good Tornus box early. Yeah, if I could just get empty tome, that would solve all the issues ever. Yeah, good old empty tome. Every day you don't have your tome being empty. It's a sad one, isn't it? Really? The plant thing again? I had this on the last run, too. So weird. Okay, this is going a bit better. Not particularly great, but still. There's Empty Tome. That'll solve all my issues. Now they stand no chance of getting in. Oh, NFT. Probably not a good idea to grab spinach over the weapon upgrade. But I am all about bad ideas at all times. I mean, can't say trying to beat every stage with every character is a good idea, eh? I know someone in the Discord has done it. Though they did it well, doing four characters at once with multiplayer. And I'm not doing that yet. I'm totally going to do it with one character at a time right now. Yep. No future plans for any of that. Crap, I can't side breath that. Dang it. No, oh, right there's the duplicator. Which I can't grab. Wait, I can't grab it. Hey, duplicator. Uh, grab that since so it results in more damage. Okay, just barely able to punch back. It should make it a bit better. Yeah. With empty tome. I can start making some headway. Projectile. A bit more headway. Yeah, this is going to be a dicier one than I was expecting. I just thought I'd roll right through it again like I did with Gallo Tower, but Gallo Tower has easier ways at the start, so... Nope. Also, I had empty tome right away, and that is a big help. Yeah, look at it. There's one more level completely switches up the paradigm here. Yeah, I was not destroying the big purple bats this fast. That was causing the issue. I was not destroying them at all, so I couldn't level up. Oh, hey, hit the stained glass, hit it again and again. That was a lot of stained glass going off. Yep, pop it. Da -da 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 -da. What is that? Oh, little clover. Small clovers. Ouch. Big bats do so much damage. Nope, well, I would not have been saved by getting this six minutes. Ouch. Oh boy. Really would be nice to have a light source pop up. Well, didn't want to like... Oh, dang it. It dropped all the way back down there. Well, that's a journey to the center of the earth. Wait. Did I skip or banish or something? Focus on raw damage over everything. Need the raw damage. Nope, oh, there's Academy Badge, and I maxed out because I have Duplicator. Alright, this is much easier. Forearm is foreclosed on life. Definitely one of the more memorable descriptions. 
along with Succubus and the Demon Priest. Wait, where is it? I mean, I guess I could candy box it. That's probably what I will do, since it technically counts as a free one. Spell Strike. And with one more on the map, I can grab that and get a free level. If it's even here. When was I over here? I don't remember being over here. And I suppose I was. This time I didn't guess, I suppose, which has an entirely different meaning. Yeesh, getting that random event will really change the luck around. Literally. Okay, I have plenty of space. Let's get Toronis box up fast so I can bash it so I can actually grab chests. Oh, uh, let's see. Three. Bit risky to grab it. But it paid off. Now it's way too risky to grab it, so level up, banish, and get going. Four hundred damage. Nice damage. Ah, blazing it now, huh? Good. No trouble grabbing this chest. I can grab some Metaglio and perhaps I'll even go curse. Grab the right one and win with curse on Capella Magna. She might be strong enough to do it. And I will have Tier Jisu on the back end, guaranteed. Hm. Alright, let's do it. Cursing Capel Magna. You know you want it. Oh, right. I could have, you know. Next out the weapon and evolved. That would have been a smart play. Give me your eyeball. Give me your delicious goo. Now let's get awake early, just in case. I don't believe she's going to go down at all. But I want to be secure. And then Sarabande on the back end, probably. Using too few Arcana, but with these stipulations, well, I basically am forced into spinach and Toronto's box for raw damage up front all the time. Outside some silliness like Christine. Da, 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 da. French vanilla. I mean, I suppose everyone's Italian, actually. I don't really put much thought into it. Oh, there's the storm of spells. Oh, and there's curse going high up. And yet, no limb break. Yeah, I still don't know what's going on with that. Really doesn't make any sense. Wow, even the Atlantean went down in no time. Well, I'm out. If it sticks to a mount in duration, I'll just grab those. It's random always once I get settled in. Bye bye, Atlantean, if you're going down that easy. Nothing else stands a chance. Watching them waves vaporize. Alright. Ah, even the bullets can't catch me anymore. Indisputable proof that magic beats technology. Alrighty, time to workshop video titles. Beating every stage with every Eleanor. Eleanor on Gallo Tower and Hella Magna. Spellstorm of Eleanor, Gallop Tower, and Hella Magna. Do I have anything else? 
No, that's a nothing chest then. Let's see. I mean, it's not like my names were all that good so far. But still. Got over 100 of them. I'm running out of STEM. Steam 2. And also STEM. The generic descriptive one. Eleanor. Gallo Tower. Capella Magna. Let's do that. Maybe that will magically give me a thousand views. And yeah, watching my views roller coaster up and down is kind of hilarious. I have no idea why some of these videos are getting like a couple hundred views while other ones are struggling in like single digits. Well, probably because I hit something forbidden by the algorithm. Drowner is probably something like that, and obviously death. So as soon as I switched it for Red Mask, I got 10 more views. Basically, immediately. It's also kind of funny watching my analytics drop down. Like, ooh, this is your best post time. Alright, I'll post it then. Ah, now it's three hours earlier. What? How? When? Oh, well. That's probably when I should maybe be posting shorts if I was doing shorts. Oh, well. Right, I... Oh, right, I get chests again. That gets me stuff. Stuff that's helpful. For both survival and power. And who doesn't love power? Everyone loves power. The world exists only in the service of power. Good, evil, none of that has anything to do with anything. It's all about power. Okay. Random all this time. Good amount of level ups off that. Alright, almost down to Silver Ring. And that will, frankly, not really do all that much, but hey, I'll grab it anyway. Yeah, look at these big meteor demons. Still not being able to do anything. And I'm only going to get stronger and... Well, actually, so are they, because of level scaling and curse coming up. Oh, I shouldn't have banished Toronto's box curse. Oh, well. Atlantean, do you think you can survive the storm that is approaching? You cannot. You did not. Nor will your successor. The moon cannot live without the sun, and the sun cannot live without the moon. You will be destroyed, as all those before you have, and as all those after you will be. Thus it was written, thus it shall be done. And the sun falls. And the dark thrives. Look, all I'm saying is that Gwyn was right. Hot take! Oh, right, Cerebon AOL. Well, it doesn't matter. I've won. Yep, just time to max out my level, limit break, and take my hand off the controller until the Starburst kills me. Oh no, I said kill. Now the video can be demonetized. Oops, so oh, no. Yeah, maybe I should just do recordings instead of live streams. I mean, Vampire Survivor's livestream is not exactly enthralling territory. But other games would be, like Unicorn Overlord, or Freebirth, or a first-person shooter. I mean, there's only so much you can comment on in Vampire Survivors. I should know, I'm 100 videos in. Oh, bye-bye, Drowner, you did not last long. Yeah, I can never remember whether these are caused by Madden or if they're base spawn. Alrighty, 
Now it's time to look up what that is. Chimera versus Manticore. Chimera. Chimera. Manticore. Chimera is Greek. Manticore is only at one. Uh, yeah, Manticore, a lion, bat wings, or eagle wings, I guess. And scorpion tail, so I got that right. Hasselisk. Why the heck is a Chimera Gorgon on this site? That's weird. That's clearly a cockatrice says a basilisk. Well, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it might be a basilisk. You usually think of the basilisk as a more lizardy or snaky thing these days. I guess it could have originally been a more chickeny thing, like the cockatrice as we know it today. And more current poppy culture. Speaking of pop culture, Pepsi or Coke? What's your choice? Leave it in a comment down below. And thanks for watching. I hope you're having a good day. Playing some cool video games. Having some fun. Exploring the world. Maybe watching some VTubers. Oh, oh it's getting laggy. Oh, wow, they're getting very close. That's impressive. Ooh. I mean, they can't do anything but get this close, but still. That's a commendable effort. They're not even really getting damaged all that much outside the death circle here. I'm getting pushed back more now. And Orologian. And if need be, another one on the left. Which might be. Because, boy, they're thick. Oh, right. Also, I could just grab it and get all these levels up and film basically invincible for like five minutes. Gonna grab it right at. No, close to 29. Okay, so it lasted about 20 seconds. Whoa. That's super dangerous. Oh, good thing I have revives. Oh, boy. Even with this level of silly silliness, I'm going to have to spam revives to get through. Wow. Hell, Magna doesn't mess around in its last minute. What's that? Oh, I guess the effects for Spellstorm are going over that ending screen. Huh. Well, death somehow showed up. And that's Eleanor done. Much easier than Gavidoni, it still had some problems. Wait, what? How did I have one level in the stained glass? Well, that's really strange. But, yep, there it is. That's Eleanor's win. Two more checked off on the Beswick. And 195 and 196 have joined the Beswick as Eleanor beats up Gallo Tower and Capella Magna. Next up is going to be Maruto Cuts on Moonglow. No problem there. And Green Acres. More of a problem, but Maruto is very strong. Thanks for watching. I hope you had some fun. Give a like if you did, a dislike if you did not, a comment if there's any builds you want me to try, a subscription to support the channel. Have a good day and keep mezzing around.